God gave men the need for sex, He gave women the gift of sex. And so how do you meet your husband's need for sex? Number one is communicate to your husband that you accept this need in him and that you're committed to, to meeting it. Now, let me, let me say this again, because women can get into this deal of rolling their eyes, you know, and, and shaming or, or, you know, acting as though again, or, you know, something like that, is that if you want to, to do something important for your husband, here's what you can do. You can say something to him like this. I know that you're a lot more sexual than I am, and I know that you're different than I am, but you're normal, and I accept this need in you, and I commit to meeting this need for the rest of my life. One of the things I appreciate about Karen is this is something that Karen has always understood about me, that even though when we first got married, you know, she, she didn't understand the, the, you know, the force of my sexual needs as being greater than hers. It was hard for her at first. She, she really has always honored this need in me, and it's always meant a lot to me. But you have to say to your husband, you're, you can't shame him. You, you've got to accept it. N number two is understand that your husband's different. And one is, is he's visually stimulated. Men are, this is the reason that pornography that is very wrong, always wrong, but it's the reason that Madison Avenue understands that sex sells, is because men respond to their wives' naked bodies. That's the way that God made us. And the problem with women is, most women don't like their bodies. Most fashion models have very low self-esteem. And that might surprise ladies because you think, well, all those attractive ladies feel good about themselves. Some of the most attractive ladies feel the worst about themselves. Because women compare their bodies. If, if most of their features are right, they focus on you know, the part that isn't right and they feel ashamed of it. So your husband's saying, I want to see your body. You know, and, and you're trying to turn the lights off and put on a flannel nightgown you know, or make him wear a mask, whatever your gig is. But, but he, he can turn on instantly. He can have the worst day in the world and, and everything's gone wrong and he comes home and, and he just wants to see you naked and have sex. I mean, that's just, it's really not any more complicated than that. That's all you need to know right there. And, but, and so women, women, you know, they, they want to turn the lights off and they want to want to wear a fly on that guy. And, you know, years ago in Pennsylvania, I did a a seminar, and I, I said in that seminar, you know, ladies, there's a, a place for flannel nightgowns, and the guy in the audience said, the fireplace. <laughs> and that's basically our, our whole theme right there is. And here's, here's what I want to say, one other thing about sex, be more sexual than you feel. Now, in the next session, I'm going to talk to your husbands about your needs. Now, one of your needs is communication. Okay, I know that. And one of your needs is soft, non-sexual affection. But here, here's what I say to men. And ladies, you can see if you approve of this. What I say to men is, it doesn't matter if you feel like talking. You talk. You, you like that, ladies? Yeah. And it uh, doesn't matter if you feel like holding her. You hold her. It doesn't matter what you feel like. It matters what she needs. Okay. You cannot have met needs in marriage until you're willing to meet a need that you do not have. Let, let, me, so let me say, let me talk about sex for a minute. Okay, so let's say that, let's say that, that our theme of sex and marriage is, we're gonna have sex when we both want it. In other words, <laughs> I'm really not gonna have vivacious, enjoyable, energetic sex with you until I feel like that. Well, I hope every two or three years you have a real special experience. <laughs> because that's about how long it will be. And rarely do we have the same desire at the same time. Rarely will you see your husband walking through the house and saying, I just want to hold you and talk. <laughs> if, if he ever holds you and talks, it's going to be because he made his mind up to do it. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. If you're going to have great sex, it's because you're going to make your mind up to be more sexual than you feel. A lot of times you, it is a decision that you make. The decision that you make is, I've been around this guy long enough that I know he's thinking about sex. <laughs> and he wants it. And so I'm going to give it to him. Doesn't matter how I feel. Doesn't matter how I feel about my body. Doesn't matter how I feel right now, my moods, my hormones, the whatever else is going on. I'm going to give him the sex that he needs. That's where great sex comes from. Thank you for joining us. 
Partner with Marriage Today and receive the Marriage on the Rock series on CD or DVD. Follow your interests and get social by connecting with Jimmy and Karen and the Ministry of Marriage Today on Twitter. Marriage Today's latest book, Happy Happy Love, will supercharge your marriage with practical tips, wisdom, and inspiration for every stage of marriage. Visit happylovebook.com. Become a rock-solid partner today and equip yourself with the tools you need for a successful marriage. $14, $28, or $56 per month. Choose the partnership level that's right for you. Become a rock-solid partner today.